Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for coming to watch this video. Um, before I get into this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Social media links are in the description. Um, so I went to my dad's today um, and I asked him if I could borrow one of his sweatshirts because obviously I didn't keep any sweatshirts or sweat jackets from any previous relationships. That would be bizarre, especially when him and I have been together for seven and a half years. I went over to my dad's and I was like, hey, can I borrow one of your sweatshirts for a prank? And he didn't even ask what it was for. So I tried going to Target and I tried going to Kohl's and Walmart and all of them were shut down because of the riots that are happening here in the in Minnesota. Um, things are very, 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 very crazy. So I wasn't able to get a sweatshirt anywhere um, because all the stores are closed here due to this. Um, so I borrowed one for my dad and I hope John notices it's literally just a sweatshirt or like a this is it it's literally just black um it's got paint on it so obviously my dad's a hard worker and he's always painting because he works on houses and stuff so it's got a bit of paint all over it um so uh, yeah uh i'm gonna walk out there and i'm gonna be vlogging and i'm gonna see if he notices i hope he notices and when he does ask me where i got it i'm just gonna tell him it's my ex-boyfriend's and see what he says see if he gets mad it's probably gonna be like, what the hell? I haven't seen this in seven and a half years. Where'd you get this? Like, why do you have this or something? I don't know. Um, but anyway, I will quit rambling and get straight to this video. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so this is the sweatshirt. I did not know what that was at first. Potatoes? Like at my first glance, I was like, what is that? You know, like it just looked bizarre to me because I thought they were like little hot dogs or something. The little creatures that grow <laughs> underneath the floorboards. You guys, okay, so I know the lighting is very bad in here. Um, we need to fix that somehow. But what, I found this at the store today and I was floored. I was like, how in the hell? Because I've been talking about Dunkaroos. How long have I been talking about these things? I can't recall a time you didn't talk about Dunkaroos. I've brought it up probably like every, once a year, I have brought this up, how Dunkaroos were my childhood like favorite snack and that I just, I love them. And John had never tried them before. So I got 12 of these, they're $1.79 a piece. I literally spent 20 some dollars on Dunkaroos, so. That is ridiculous. Because yes. they're so good what? and it's the nostalgia. The purple with the little blue designs. So 90s. 90s. Like rocket power intro or something. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing for dinner then? I am making, get this guy through this, look at this. We got some potatoes. cut up little potatoes for some steak fries because everybody likes steak fries and gluten free. Yes. And I got. We this. do a lot of gluten free in our house. Like everything's gluten free. He's not so much gluten free. I am. I still do low gluten though. At least try to avoid it when I can. That's. I, I am do. not gonna let him lie to you guys because he lies to me all the time. I do not. He eats gluten all the time almost. Hun, yeah, give me some credit. Dinners we do like if we're at home, we generally will eat stuff that's gluten free because I won't eat stuff that's not. So. This is guys chicken thighs not boneless and bone in still because i think it keeps a lot of flavor around them. is that the size the size is that the sauce that i picked out yeah no this no no what is it yeah i saw it on the, the counter and it was like half gone yes it is that brazilian sauce mm, it, it smells so good. so good chicken thighs guys i'm being serious here don't buy chicken breasts you're just a follower they're dry here, they're flavorless try some thighs if you have it in grilling most people just do breasts and they're they're not good honestly they're almost always flavorless I mean, if you're doing fajitas and you're cutting you know them up what? and over seasoning them. I disapprove this message because I love chicken breasts and I make the chi I make the best chicken breasts. They might not be the best chicken meat, but I do a really good job on those. But you can't argue that that t that taste. The thighs taste way better though. You don't think so? I do because they're juicy, but I just don't like. I I think I make chicken breasts really good when I make them. And you think so? Well. Apparently you don't. Damn. I think you do make them Finally a lot better learned than me. something new today about you. I never said that. Oh, yeah, I feel like a bum today. Are you jump into assumptions? I feel like I look like a bum today. Why? It's because you're wearing a sweater. What, you got like a stain on it too? Is it paint? It's paint. This isn't your sweater. You don't got paint on any of your sweaters when you're even painting. No, it's not mine. Oh, this isn't it? Everlast? There's a stain on it? Ugh. 
It's paint. It's stained from oh. like that kind of stain. Was that like an old sweatshirt or something? Um, I think, yeah. Why? Why are you asking me? I don't know. It just looks weird. I've never seen that sweatshirt before. Okay. Which is weird for me, you know, because I know everything you got. But yeah, so we're excited, guys. This is going to be a good meal. And I do try to avoid gluten. And I don't do it of good. I don't do, I'm not even close to perfect. But I guarantee you, from now compared to last year, it's probably at least been like a 35 to 40% decrease in my week. You know what I think it is? I think it's that, uh, you know, because I... I've probably decreased mine like 90%. Like I never, like at, we have bonfires with my family and like stuff like that. Like, and we'll have like brats or burgers and I'll get a steak instead or I'll wear just like, or I'll wear, damn it. <laughs> That's not one of mine, is it? No. Why would I wear yours? And how, and you would know if this was yours. That's why I was wondering. Cause when I've painted and got a lot of sweatshirts dirty, but I don't recall having that one. Why are you asking me about this? I was in the middle of talking. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It's because it I was saying, me. so like, but, um, yeah, I'll take the bun. I won't eat the bun. And John will, like, he'll eat it. But he's decreased it a bit. And I think it's because we've learned, like, how to cook really well. Like, him and I are really good cooks. And we've just gotten really good at it. So, what's up, Buttercup? Hi. Hey, Zoe. What? Do you think I look like a bum today? What? Do you think I look like a bum today? No, you're you like bum my... right here though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my sweatshirt? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Daddy thinks I'm weird. Dad, look how cute he is. I've just never seen that sweatshirt before. Ozzy is adores. He's adorables. Oh my goodness. You scared me so bad. Oh my goodness, Kitty, look, look at you. you. She's pointing his face to the camera. Hey, Ozzy. Oh, it's hot in here. Well, yeah, it's because you're wearing a sweater. Look how cute that is! What, this little guy? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ozzy! Are you cute? Here. Look how cute you are! So, <laughs> make food. We have to do a garden tomorrow, guys. We're starting a garden with Zoe. We're doing vegetables and fruit. Well, like watermelon. Well, we did get watermelon, I think. But hopefully, I think the... The time is like 90 days on that, so Daddy, 95, I think. I want to show them. Something. And then flowers too. What, what do you want to show them? Flowers. Go see. My little friend. You're moving it too much, I think. I don't know. Maybe the camera just can't adjust. There's a one right there, and one right there, one right there. There's two in there that's dead. You want to tell them what kind of plant that is? I don't know what kind of plant it is. Oh, a fly bug. <laughs> it's a fly bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a Venus fly trap. He died. Oh, Jesus. So, is that a zucchini? A zucchini Vivini? Yes. Just kidding. So, are you sure that's not my sweater? It's not your sweater, and it's not, it's not mine either. Then whose is it? How, did you get I that just, in the shed or something from the old why people? Why is this dirty? I don't know. I haven't used that knife in forever. When you do the dishes, you better watch what you're doing. Ashton, I haven't used that knife the entire time we lived here, probably. Like that. That's an old dank knife. That's the old steakhouse knife. It's not mine, and it's not yours. I just had it from a really long time ago because... Like, if I tell you, you're not going to get mad at me, right? Well, no, it's just a sweater. Okay, like, like obviously it's, it's just, just one got... of my exes because I, he never took it when we broke up because we didn't realize that it was missing. Wait, what? Why would you even keep that? Wait, yeah, right. Ugh. What? So, you got your ex's sweater? Yes. What? Why? Huh? Why? I didn't really realize it. I don't know. I, John, when we moved, I literally had all those bins that were packed up in our garage at our old place and downstairs, and I just happened to go through them and... Yeah, why would you wear it? Uh, because it's one of the only sweatshirts I have like this, and I didn't wear it for so long that I thought I'd wear it. That doesn't make it. was a big deal. Okay, what if I was wearing? I don't know if that works, but... You were a little bit on the... Huh? Mm, you don't like women per se. 
Oh, that one. Mm. Is that? I don't know, man. Why would you? Why would you wear that though? You know you shouldn't do. Like that's not something you do. That's not real. It's really not. Where'd you get that idea? Yeah, it is a big deal. I didn't get that idea from anywhere. It's just something I happened to do. I didn't even think about you it. You have like tons of sweaters, though. Why would you pick that one? Dude, have you seen my sweatshirts? They're all the, like those Sherpa Where things. Where have you even kept that? I've been with you for seven years. I just years. told you in the bins that we had in our basement and in the garage. It was in one of them. I've I looked through those bins. You have not looked through all of them. I mean, you know how many times I've searched for stuff. Do you stuff? know how much stuff I have that you don't even know I have? I'm sure there's a lot, and apparently there's a lot more than I know of that. Get rid of that. Why? Why would you keep it? John, like, this okay, is a hell, whoa, sweatshirt. Whoa. I don't need to freaking throw it away to make you happy. Like, come on, I'm with you. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Jesus, like, what the hell? Why are you freaking out? About Am I just crazy? So Yes, you are. And Am I crazy, guys, or would you be offended if your girlfriend was wearing their ex's sweatshirt after seven years and they still had it? I think. Can you get me the um, cavenders and the oil and come help me, please? I suppose, but I'm just saying I think it's messed up and you should get rid of it, and I think you're just kidding. There's no way you kept that. Whose else's would it be, John? I don't know. I don't know why you're wilding about it. Wild and the hell happened to you, man? I don't know why you wild. You are wilding. No, because I wouldn't do that to you. I don't give a fuck if you would do that to me. It'd oh, be stupid as hell if you wore some girl's fucking sweatshirt. Okay, I'm not offended by that. But what would be the opposite? You wearing a guy's sweatshirt? That's gross. It's I did I didn't think anything. There's of a it. stain on that. It. Yeah, it's stained from that like painting that stuff. Like, staining wood. How do you know that? Because look at it. I just know. Yeah, this is awkward. That's what his job was. He did stuff like that, so. I don't recall you ever saying that. Why did the, f why, uh, John, shut up. You're annoying me. I was literally just trying to come out here and cook with you and, and vlog, and you're gonna ruin it by bringing something up that's stupid. I have no feelings for somebody just because I'm wearing their sweatshirt. It's just a sweatshirt. They don't even know that I have it. It's not a big deal. All right. Like, Jesus, get I over I think it's yourself. a big deal. I'm just telling you how I feel about I it. I don't give a f Get over it. You're ruining my day. Well, this is gonna be one fun vlog, isn't it, dude? Yeah, now I have to cut everything out that's us arguing about this and- Why are you that silly, yo? Come on. Use your noggin. It's not silly. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's sweatshirt. Yeah, I see Who that. Who cares about a sweatshirt? You shouldn't be wearing a boyfriend sweatshirt. Oh my god. Yeah, so sweatshirt. you didn't have any clothes that somebody else bought you in the past that you kept when me and you started dating? And don't tell me no because I guarantee you did. That's way different, Ashton. No, it's That's not. That's bought clothes for you. This was no, it's theirs. Not. So? How is that the same? Maybe I bought it for him and I kept it. Duh. You ever think about that? Yeah, but he wore it for her. I mean, there's stains Who on it. Who cares? Why? I do, because I think that's weird. Oh my god, you are such a baby. Grow up. You're 27 years old. I asked you to get me the oil. You can't even do that. Well, no, I'm not gonna. Not until you take that thing off. I'm not taking it off. It's comfy. Comfy. Feel comfortable right now? I bet you do. Is any of your food gonna be ready on time? Because you're not even working on it. I'm trying to take care of the real problem here. Okay. Okay, because there's a problem. I think the problem is the guy standing next to me talking about some sweater that has no- Like, get over it. Okay. Well, I'll just let you finish this then with you and your sweater. And I'll go, uh, I'll go watch some TV or something. <laughs> okay. That's lit. Are you are you literally being serious right now? You're that upset. Yeah, like I've asked you, like that bugs me. Why would you even keep that? Here, take the fucking thing. Get the fuck oh, over shit. yourself. You freak Jesus. I don't want to touch that nasty thing. Ew. Can you not mistreat my sweatshirt, please? It's not yours, apparently. Well, it is now. It has been for how many years? Okay. Jesus. Well. The way you acted about it, you did for it too, so. Because you're annoying. I hate when you jump on my case about something that has no, like, 
Why are you acting like such a douche, too? Because I don't like how you're being a weirdo about it. I'm like, not. You're being You're crazy. the only one being weird about it. It's just a sweatshirt. Anybody would be weird about that. You, I guarantee you, you post it on YouTube, everybody's going to back me up and be like, yeah, that's weird. I'm not posting that on YouTube. I'm deleting all of this vlog. Because you're being dumb. Like That's, that's crazy. We're going to have a good vlog and then that? Like, did you just, why would you do that? Why don't you just use one of my sweatshirts then? Why you know, would I gave you one? Because I don't think about it like that. Why would I think that it's not okay to wear a sweatshirt? Like, it doesn't matter. Because it was your ex's. Who cares? I do. I just told you that. Do you Most think I still would. like him, or what's your deal? No, but you have his sweatshirt, so that's. It's the end of the world, guys. It's the end of the world. I think we have a lot of other issues in the world right now to freaking focus on. Not a sweatshirt. Well, those are issues aren't in my kitchen right now. I took it off like you asked me to do. Yeah, I know, but you're still throwing a fit about it. You gotta, you're throwing... you gotta know why it's wrong. Then I'm not throwing okay. a fit. You're throwing a fit. You literally made me take off my sweatshirt because you're uncomfortable with me wearing a sweatshirt that I bought for somebody else. Can you like? That's the join? point. What? What? Wow, are you done being a baby about it? Uh, I'm not being a baby about it. Okay. I think it's wrong. What do you guys think? Anybody in my position would think this is messed up. You know whose sweatshirt it is? Yeah, you already told me. My dad's. It is not. <laughs> yeah. My dad does not wear Why do you think there's ever. stain on it and paint? You're just saying that now. I'm not saying that. There's literally stain on it from when he worked on this house. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, I don't know if I would have noticed that on Tony. I don't believe you. Mm -mm. There's no way. Quit. Don't be doing that to me. Is that why you're being such a douche? Come sit over here. We'll, we'll set this little camera up and I'll call my dad and make John look like a psychopath. Where's my phone? I won't look like a psychopath anyway. Let's hope it is your exes now. Why? Because. John doesn't believe that this sweatshirt's yours. It is mine. God damn it, Tony. Of course it's mine. Why would you go in on this with her? <laughs> I didn't go in on nothing. I didn't even tell him. I just borrowed it. Uh, yeah, she just borrowed it from me. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. You're evil. <laughs> I told you. You're evil. I would never do that to you. I would never hurt her feelings like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you. Oh, had... so you meant it would hurt my feelings. So I'm not yeah, crazy. Yeah, I, I know you're not crazy. I'm of course. Not crazy. Like, the only way I'd keep something like that is if I legit spent, like, a, if I bought somebody, like, a $200 sweatshirt or something. It was, like, some, like, a Gucci, like, shirt or something. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be the only scenario where I'd actually keep something like that. I wouldn't keep some, just an average sweat jacket or sweatshirt. You're evil. Oh! What was that? And I don't know what it was. What is that? Why? No, something I swear... Boo's looking. Oh, it's right there. What is it, Boo Boo? Oh, ew, it's a baby June bug. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So Don't eat it, honey. That's gross. What? I literally started the camera just in time, and that happened. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing that. John actually got mad. Um, mad? Like a, like a casual mad. Oh, my God. Are you... Come here. I'm scared. What? So, I do I vlog you? Vlog or do me, I vlog me right now. This is good. Guys, so, okay, we live out in the country now. All country folks. Things happen differently out here. Animals, insects, all that stuff. Went to throw that one outside. Another one came as in. As I'm shutting the door, look what got caught in the middle of the door as I was shutting it. <gasps> you smushed it <sighs> in the door. I didn't mean to. I was literally just shutting the door behind me in one flew oh in the my... plane and got caught. Oh, poor baby. You guys, this is basically our outdoor cat. She's not really ours. She, my mom got her, and she's wild. We she's feed her yeah, we feed her every day, and she's pregnant. I feel just awful. I try to feed her and give her water every single day, and she can't come in our house because she's got claws. And obviously, our cats would be. Who no no. He's, <laughs> he's still alive. I'm gonna try to save him. Throw him. Out. Oh, that's awful. 
Ooh, what do we do? Oh my I just God. open the door and push them through. No, like, uh, we do we spray our lawn for insects or what? No, this is just what happens in the country. Oh, hell no. I couldn't handle June bugs in the city, let alone the country. It's going to be ten times worse. It's true. Oh, no. What? I'm not prepared for this. Oh, I'm not a bug person at all. It's as easy as that. Done. I'll take care it's of you. It's not. <laughs> I'll take care of you. You better because and I am not a bug person. The big bad little bugs. All right, guys. So it is done. It looks mm. magnificent. Look at all the veggies. I done goofed. <laughs> we ran out of propane. I was gonna grill these. Literally heating up the grill. About to clean it. The flames go down. I'm thinking, did I really have it set to off when I turned them on? There's some gas left in the line. Switch it. Still not switch it back. Nope, nope, nope. It's out. Can you get me a fork? Which is ridiculous because we literally just got that propane. That's how much we grill. We love grilled food. And Zoe wants camera time. <clears throat> Does she? Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? It's a disappearing act. So that is what we got. Mmm, so good. Hi. Okay, Zoe wants to try her zucchini and show you guys if she likes it or not. Okay, hold on. Let me get the camera positioned. Is it on her? I can't no. see. No. You need to hold it and film her. Okay. I'm gonna get my milk ready. It's not spicy. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Donnie. That's a green bean. This? Yeah. Oh. A zucchini? Down blue. You don't like it? Well. It tastes like one of those. This um grosser. <laughs> Fool! I'll try zucchini and see what I think of it. It's delicious. What do you think, hon? I'm gonna eat this now. Green bean? How's that? Did you bite your finger? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bomb. Dude, I think it's a key job. Perfect. I look. Mm hmm. You know what I made? I made the green beans and the zucchini. And Dali made the potatoes and the chicken. Mm hmm. You want to try the chicken? That. I wanted to have fork. Ranch. Enjoy. You want some chicken with that ranch? Good. Okay guys, so we are going to end this video now and enjoy our food. Hope you like it. Everybody, it. stay safe out there. Absolutely. Go home peacefully. Peacefully. Hello, and I'm French fry man. French fry man? I'm French fry man. French fry man. Peace out guys. Bye. Bye.